So we have this very strange thing. That's what I'm talking about here. Men have power in a male-dominated society. That's absolutely true. Men have benefits from being men in a male-dominated society. And yet, at the very same time, there's a paradox. And the paradox is the ways that we have defined manhood and the ways that we raise boys to be men come with a terrible cost to men ourselves. And the cost is that we can't live up to our ideals of manhood. And so what does that mean? Well, the result has to do, leads to a number of things. The result is, for example, violence against women and violence among other men. So either a man uses, well, not either, a man will use violence in his relationships with women. Not all men, not most men, but men who do, they'll use it to have power over her, that's true, to control her, that's true, but at the same time, they're using violence because they feel insecure. They're feeling like they're not a real man. And they're feeling like they need to act like they're powerful, so they use violence. Do you hear the language that I'm using? I'm not referring to violent men. There are some violent men out there. But most men who commit rape, who hit their wives, who emotionally bully their wife, they're just men like me and the other men here. But they choose they choose to use violence against that woman to make them feel powerful, to make them feel strong. Then what that means is that men have a responsibility to speak out against the violence. Men have all men, and I'm going to come back to this theme a bit later, but I believe that all men, even the majority of men who never use violence in our relationships with women, all of us have a responsibility to speak out. I'll talk more about that later. But it's so important that we actually reach the men who are currently using violence to stop them. So that's one reason why it's important and critical to engage men. Because some of our brothers, some of our fathers, some of our sons, and some of our friends are hitting their wives, are raping their girlfriends or their spouse, are sexually harassing women at the workplace. So if we're going to bring about a society of gender equality, then it's important that men are part of that process. Yes, women have made heroic strides, often on their own, and I celebrate the strength of women. I celebrate the power of women. But at the same time, we must say, how can we extend the, the, the work that women are doing and embrace the society as a whole?